The paper cup is in the shape of a hollow cone. The diameter is 7 centimetres, so the distance from here to here is 7 centimetres, and the slant height is 10 centimetres, and here we have the cup, which is hollow. The cup is completely filled with water. I filled right to the top, it's flush with the top. Find the volume of water in litres. Okay, so here we have a picture of a cone. This is what the shape we were dealing with here. The volume of a cone is one third of the base area times the height, because the cone is a type of pyramid. So the base area is a circle, but the height that we want to find, sorry, so that would be the volume is one third pi r squared times the height. Now the height we want to find, the radius is that, half of the diameter 3.5, but the height we want to find is this distance here, it's the vertical height. What we've got here in the question is the slant height. So we first need to calculate the vertical height, i.e. the one which is 90 degrees to the radius. If we draw out a right angled triangle, which is what we get here, we can find h by using a little bit of uh, Pythagoras. So using Pythagoras' theorem, we can say that 10 squared, the longest side, remember that's the longest side, is going to be 3.5 squared plus h squared. So in order to find h squared, we need to subtract 3.5 from both sides. Then working that out on my calculator, I'm going to get 10 squared minus 3.5 squared, I'm going to get 87.75 is equal to h squared, and then to find h, we need to take the square root. So square root of 87 0.75 is 9.3674. We'll keep that on our calculator. So going now to trying to find the volume. So putting it on there. So we now know this is 9.367, and this is 3.5 centimeters of radius. The volume is one third of pi r squared h. So it's going to be one third times pi times r, which is 3.5, and we need to square that times my height, which I've calculated in the previous part. Now, the important thing is not to round off this answer prematurely. So just keep this in your calculator and use the answer key on your calculator to do the calculation. So if you do that, you're going to get 120.167844 centimetres cubed. Now, we asked to give the answer in litres. So 1,000 centimetres cubed is equal to 1 litre. So if we divide this by 1,000, we're going to get that the volume is going to be 0 0.120 litres to three significant figures. Okay, so in significant figures, um, that one has no effect on that zero, so we're going to have one, two, three. The first zero is not significant, okay? So this has been a video to show you how much volume of water you can put in one of those hollow paper, conical paper cups. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.